Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back. I did not even have time to do a test recording, so I hope this works. <laughs> I hope it's capturing, because here we go. Here's the horde attack uh, that I promised you. And we're going to see how this works, even with a minimal amount of spikes. We're missing uh, probably a few hundred, if not several hundred, because there's, uh, I think, 750 in this area down below us. Uh, see what direction they're coming from, and hopefully that our shotgun turrets are powered up. Well, oh, I hear a zombie. I heard a zombie. Where are they coming from, though? Direction. Uh, I need to get my little catwalk going on the outside. I'm looking for you, zombies. Oh, there they come. So they're coming from the north. Make sure. Oh, there's feral radiated cop. Yeah, going through those spikes. Don't you shoot me. Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. The spikes and the... Uh... Oh, yeah, they are coming right through there where my base is at, too. Mmm. Scurry. Scurry. Watch him go down. Don't you shoot me. Oh, he's done for. Oh, pop big guy's head. Oh, big mama, where are you going? You're running the wrong way, gal. Fun's happening over here. Yeah, I figured we'd start getting uh, feral radiated cops by the dozens here before too long. There they come. Don't move, copper. He was about to blow. I could hear the boom, 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 boom. I could hear that happening. You know what I'm talking about? The boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, don't you shoot me. Get him. Nice. There's another. They're all radiated cop. Come on over here, copper. Let's kind of stand back over here and see if we can't draw him to us. Oh, that copper's going straight for the... Oh, not good. Hey, I love... I'm just leveling up my armor. That's all I was doing there, folks. That was not... That was intended. That was intended. Ah, uh, let's see... And I think we're good on bones, you know? I don't think I'm gonna worry about the bones for a little while. We'll just auger up the bodies again. Do a little looting, you know, try to get our scavenging up a bit. Come on over here in the spikes, copper. Oh, he's done. Let's see if we can draw him over here. A little curious about what they're doing with the pillars down there and making sure that none are caught up on the pillars now they're still rushing in so well uh day 77 only four shotgun turrets kind of goes to show what a solid design this uh this platform is having them all spread out a few spikes down below um just let them on in, let them run through, let them run through the spikes, let them run into the shotgun turret. I'll tell you what we're going to do, actually. We're going to turn this shotgun turret off. We're going to turn this one off. We'll leave it like that for now. Let them kind of wander on across over here. And, uh... Well, that one was just working a double time over there with them coming in that direction. You know what? I'm going to turn this one off right now as well. Might turn it back on a little while if we need to catch up, but uh, all right, now let's just let them wade on through those spikes. Oh yeah, look at them piling in now that I turned that one off. Look at that. <laughs> that was uh, I was taking them out before they could make it any further along. Oh, he was swinging on the way down. Did you see that? 
Not swinging anymore, just a swing and... Looks like they've given us a break from the cops and now they're sending the uh, feral radiated whites at us. And that's fine. Whatever. Boy, those things are tanky. Oh, I think he finally died laying there on the spikes. Oh, let's try to get him over on these spikes over here. Come on over. Come over here. for just a moment here and draw them back over this way. Try to utilize all the spikes we can that we had down and back in this corner. I just got a cool idea, something I could do with the uh, with the catwalk. You get off that pillar over there. Ah, oh, more cops. Nice, two for right there. Got two in one shot. Shot him in a hoo ha. Oh, that's a feral radiated cop. Uh, if they're gonna start sending those back in, we need to uh, up our game and turn on another shotgun turret. Because they will destroy some stuff down there. Yeah, that's right. You all come down to this end that you left clean last time. Look at him tanking his way through those spikes. Oh, here's Feral Radiate Cop. And a regular cop as well. Whee! Who knew a big cop like that could jump so high? Oh, two more Feral Radiate Cops. We, rather, we might need to step up our game and turn one of those extra shotgun turrets on so we have three going instead of uh, two. I don't know if I can prevent them from exploding. Otherwise, all right. Oh, he exploded. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to up our game here. Oh, another one exploded. Not good. Oh, they're feral radiant cops running all over the place. Come on over here, coppers. Is he dead or... Yeah, he's dead. Ah! Can't have many of those exploding like that. I knew it would be time for us to, uh, there was a body up here with me. I knew it would be about that time that we'd start experiencing the feral radiated cops. They gave us a break last horde, and then this horde, they're like, you know what? We're gonna just unleash the beast upon Grand Spartan, and that is fine. Oh, another body went flying by my head. You see that? Oh, he popped! He popped it! I'm right here, copper. Two coppers. Three coppers. Don't you get close to that pillar over there. Nice. Oh, he popped.
Well, I mean, I guess I could get a little crazy acting here. I could jump on down and, uh, you know, take them on outside. Don't really have a good place to take them on out there, honestly. But I could. Uh, how many exploding crossbow bolts I have left? I have 150. So hopefully they don't meet us at the gate over here. Uh, that would not be good at all. Well, I tell you what we could do. We could jump off the side over here and hopefully not break our leg. Let's see here if we can jump off without breaking our leg. All right. Well, oh, they are breaking off. They're beating on that pillar. It's because I came over here. See, that's why it's dangerous. That's why I probably shouldn't do uh, what I did there. Oh, you just goofed up, Grand Spartan. Oh, but so did they. <laughs> they followed me. They followed me. The Pied Piper. Get that doggy. How much is that dog in the window? One with the waggly tail. Oh. I don't want to take them through there, because if I take them through there, then uh, the bodies are just going to be wasted. I guess it doesn't really matter at this point in the game. I'm going to go ahead and top off here, taking a couple hits. I don't need to sweat it with all the first aid kits we're sitting on. Take a chance to die. Now oh, that cactus is wreaking havoc on the zombies. Look at all of them losing their legs around that cactus. The cactus o' oh, death. I like it. Need to be able to plant those things. When am I going to be able to plant a cactus field around my base? No longer have a need for spikes if you could plant those things, right? They never go away. They're just there forever. Um, kind of curious, some of the other places on the base there, what they're looking like, you know, what the, uh, what was body flying? Make sure they aren't beating on any pillars. It'd be so nice when we can get a lot of concrete out here and I don't have to run around on the grass and shoot them. If you shoot a exploding crossbow, there's another deadly cactus. Oh, she's catching up with me. If you shoot an exploding crossbow bolt in the, in the dirt... Uh, it typically does not explode. Uh, if you shoot it at the uh, concrete, it will. I don't know what it is, player block versus, you know, natural block. Oh, there's a doggy. Now we gotta get those crawlers out of here so we can get some more runners involved. Oh, I missed. That was a bad shot. Ah. Oh. There we go. Got a couple of them. See how you shoot it in the dirt and it's just a dud? I was trying to time it with the pack so that I could shoot the crawlers. It's a shame that doesn't blow up the grass. You know, you would think that exploding crossbow bolt firing at them like that would uh, take out the grass, but it does not. That's kind of annoying, really. Oh, that time it hit gravel and exploded. There we go. That's the that's the crawlers I've been trying to get. Let's see if we can't run that pack on through these uh, spikes here. That's right. Come on through the spikes and through the turrets again. It'd be nice I could get the lights out here and you can see all of this in high definition, folks. See all of the zombies are running around like a crazy fools. Look at that big old pack of zombies. Let's see if we can't just pull them up for the rest of the uh, horde here. 
should be able to see some pretty large numbers. You know, we should be able to see a uh, hundred and something zombies in one big pile. Of course, they're they're still running through the turrets, though. That's that's taking out some of them. As long as we don't have any crawlers, because I have no desire to get any more bodies. We're really just gonna auger most of the bodies anyway. There's a lot of brothers right there. They're all kind of hanging around the same area. Oh, we have some crawlers. We gotta take those crawlers out so we get more runners. And drink another beer. Hold my beer. Oh, look at that train. The zombie train. The zombie train. There we go. Got one more of those suckers. They went around. Try not to hit the pack. Trying to hit the crawlers. Oh, look at that. Hey, I'm going this way. Uh, ladies, fellas, going this way. Oh, there they go. There they go. And we're going back the other way. Take it back the other way. Yeah, we get lights out here at concrete. It'll be worth your while to see a big pack of zombies like this uh, running around. But as it is now, it's just, you know. Hopefully the fun pimps check this out. You know, because uh, a big thing with... You know, not being able to have a lot of zombies on the screen at one time and people are like, oh, it's weak and this and that and the other. Uh, this is a good display as to what is possible. And beyond this, I think I could have another 100 zombies on the screen, honestly, and still not lag enough to affect me um, so that I might die or whatever. I really think I could. I think I could go up another 100. I don't know if the server would handle it. Server says don't go over 80. Uh, of course, I've far surpassed what the server told me to do. Uh, but um, they're about to stop spawning in now. Oh, I'm bleeding. Something must have got me. We're just going to have bodies scattered all across this place. That's so annoying that the exploding crossbow bolts won't take out the grass. Oh, there's a zombie with no uh, arms and legs. Many zombies with no arms and legs. <laughs> oh, he popped up. Come on to me. Come on. Or just stand right there like a fool, like a silly fool. Bunch of soft zombies over here. Come on, huddle together. Make it worth my while to use one of those. Mr. Businessman, what are you doing creeping over there? Spider's got a yucky touch. Ooh, another little pack to use one of those on. Come on over here, Spider. I want to get two for... Two for... Boy, talk about a mess. My goodness, folks. I uh, I certainly have one here. Oh, look at that. He had a little submachine gun. I'm sorry, Matina. And Feral Matt. Feral Matt has a hard head. Well, uh... That looks like that concludes today's episode of The Horde. Um, gotta take a look at all of the scattered bodies. We can't even see them all. There's so many out there. There's a spider somewhere, and I don't know where he's at. I hope we don't have some weird thing like underground. Oh, there he is. So on the stream series the other day... I heard this noise. Zombie. And I couldn't find him. Come to find out, that silly zombie is underground. It's a cop. A feral radiated cop is underground in my base, beating on the blocks around him. And fortunately, uh, I was able to uh, kill him. 
and fill in the, the, the hole there before he destroyed my base. Look, really, we're going to get a wandering horde like minutes after the regular horde? Really? You know what? You all are going to suffer the consequences of the horde defense. I am not. You know what I think I'm going to try to do? I probably need to get a better blunt weapon. Uh, not better, but, you know, um, a, a repaired club. But I think I'm going to hit these things instead of the axe. Since the axe is a one-shot deal. The, uh, oh, there's tuna! It's the chicken of the sea. Yeah. And uh, just go ahead and get our blunt weapon leveled up while we're doing this. You know what I mean? Why not? It's just... Oh, look at all the bullets and guns on him. I'm not even going to take guns. Not even going to take the guns. Probably should take them for scrap. We're good on scrap, I think. We go to the... We go to the city. And, uh... I know they have... They have uh, bullets in them, but... We'll get, uh, I'll take that in case I get hit, because, well, it takes a little burden off my mind knowing that we've already had that wandering horde means that we're most likely not going to get a dog horde immediately following the, uh, seven day horde. I could go through them fast like this. Until it doesn't uh, one-shot them anymore. I can go through these corpses fast with the uh, spike club. And get levels. A little dual purpose action here. Getting scavenging levels. And blunt weapon levels. You know what? We'll take that brass. What is that again? Yuka. For some reason, I was thinking it was an azalea. It's like, you know what? If you could grow that stuff and multiply it. They sell it at the trader all the time. Plant them around the base. Maybe we should buy some things like that from the trader. You know, I don't know. I I've never been much on the uh, uh, being all decorative and all of that, but... Maybe he has some stuff that we can make the base kind of soup it up a little. Uh, I didn't plan for that. I didn't plan for having a uh, some of those things that you would buy from him, but who knows what he might have. Not even going to take the time to get the guns to uh, take the bullets out. We'll take the brass. Tell you what, let's drink a water too. I'll throw that jar out. Uh, just so we don't have to run back to the base here. Oh, right there. I can't uh, I can't destroy him with one shot anymore. So we'll switch over to the axe. So I am not going over to the base right now. Some shotgun shells we can take. I had to look and see what our scavenging was up to. Oh, military vest. Nice. We'll take that to repair ours with. Always take the bullets. That's uh, easy peasy right there, considering what it takes to make those things. Outside of the handful that we bought from a trader, that's how we've accomplished or acquired uh, the majority of our bullets thus far. 762. Just recently started buying them. But if we ever do want to uh, fire that uh, AK 47 at a horde of zombies like we just did running around with exploding crossbow bolts, then we're going to need those. It's a shame I can't retrofit something to my auto turret. You know, even the sniper rifle, well, the AK-47, you know, uh, be able to make that AK-47 into a, a turret. But uh, even the sniper rifle, you know, is just fires slowly, just one shot, boom. 
Boom. Boom. Something like that. Uh, we'll be able to make a turret out of about any gun in the game would be a, a pretty cool feature. Use up some of that 7.62 ammo. Let me hurry this thing along a little bit more. For your sake, for the viewer's sake. Yeah, I probably won't mess with that, the uh, 44 ammo. Maybe one day we'll uh, we'll go treasure hunting or something. I That's just, I don't get much enjoyment out of doing that, but. What in the world? That sounded like really close to my head. Huh. Shotgun turrets don't discriminate there. They, uh, they will kill you. You get in the way of their target. Zombie or no zombie? Well, we should have enough brass to smelt down. Make ourselves a decent amount of uh, whatever kind of ammo it is that we want to make. 9mm for the auto turrets. That's the first bit of oil in this horde. No, most of the time, you remember, we get pretty oil heavy. We get a lot of oil. Not this time. I'll throw that out and throw this out and throw that out. Whoops, what did I just pick up? All that rotted flesh I just threw out. Let's move on this way. But if you use this as your only means of brass, you, you know, you could make some, some bullets. But I don't understand how people use guns, primarily use guns. Uh, I don't know how you can ever have enough brass to make bullets to go around for long periods of time without modifying your game in some way. Uh, even with the 200% loot setting, you're just not going to get enough to constantly fire guns. You know, it's just not possible. I, I look at what we have in brass. I look at how quickly we go through the brass, and I just think, oh, there's just no way you can do that. I'm trying to scrap the, the lead because, you know, we we do need that. Uh, we, we're, comp there's more lead right there. We're completely out. And um, it's not much, but it would basically be like me getting one node of lead somewhere out in the wild, you know, out in the jungle. Welcome to the jungle. Try not to slow down too much with things like that, but. Lead's one of those very precious things to me, as much of it as I use. I go through it. We had two potatoes. We could light up a light bulb with that. You know that? Oops. More lead. Fifty percent done now. We're uh, on the downhill stretch of this this deal. I hear zombies. I just hope there are no zombies underground like we we had before. You know, I can I can just hear them somewhere screaming away. I might need to take a a walk around this place and make sure they aren't feeding on a pillar somewhere or something. You hear that? Must just be out in the uh, area out there with the cactus and running around or crawling around with no leg. Oop. 
boot, boot. What is it about every tenth body we get something useful? Maybe every seventh body or something like that. Like bullets or brass or lead. Something that we're collecting. Something like that. we into this well unless I miss something up um we're only 30 minutes into this episode did I I guess we started right when the horde attack came but is that really um that short of a period of time because we've been at this for what seven eight minutes now at least Look at that, two bodies with uh, the leg armor. Well, we probably need that. I don't know if I have any leg armor that's decent or not. And more oil. Always take that because we're running pretty low on repair kits. As far as I can tell, I don't know that I have any more in the stash in there. I had 25. Uh, yeah, I had 25 left in there. So we're going to have to make some more of those at some point. And it does help clean it up with the axe instead of the auger. At least I'm getting some bones. You know, I'm not getting a whole slew of bones like I would normally. Uh, but uh, but I am getting some. Well, that's better than nothing, and we'll be able to make some more glue. For, uh, for duct tape. I can't imagine if... And I know some of you do this. Uh, and you you take everything from every zombie, like the the glass and the um, the shirts and the pants and all of that stuff, and um, you scrap all that stuff. You would be out here for like two days. You'd be out here for two game days doing this. Cause you see how I just skip over there's more oil. I take only things that are very precious to me. I don't waste a lot of time. Uh, get through this as quickly as possible. Make this as pain-free as possible. All right, now the uh, outdoor po portion of this uh, cleanup <laughs> might be more painful than the end. The uh, interior area. Wish I knew I had eyes on that zombie. I guess I could probably hunt it out. Just has me worried that uh, it's underground now that I had that happen. The cop glitching uh, through the blocks and going underground. It might also be a zombie that has no arms and no legs. Just sitting there. Just sitting there. Bodies over here. How much uh, lead are we up to now? We are up to 206. So, like I said, probably by the end we'll have about the same amount as what you'd have from one little node of lead out there and about. It's not much, but it's a couple pieces of bulletproof glass or some buckshot, you know. Uh, looks like I didn't go any further out this way when I was getting all crazy acking. Let's see, take this out here. Yeah, early game, I was picking up a lot of this stuff. I was picking up the money I sell to the trader or to scrap for paper. Uh, I was picking up a lot more stuff, and it was taking a lot longer. We were knifing all the bodies, and now we're able to quickly just move through these hordes and 
does not take us nearly as long. Ooh. I'll take that 762 ammo. Thank you. Hey, I really appreciate you. Uh, each and every one of you who hangs out, uh, I know you're the ones also that, that most likely give that thumbs up every day, but those of you who hang out through something like this and listen to me ramble on and, uh, and talk about future plans or what it is that I'm doing, or you know, I really appreciate you all that hang out through these episodes. It makes it worth my while to, to document this. Otherwise, I'd be just like every other YouTuber and I would just cut this part out and I'd say, all right, we'll be back in a minute. And I come back and all of this is done, you know, and, uh, but I really enjoy the the grind of the whole thing. And uh, this channel, I guess, is for those of you who enjoy it as well. Because you get to see the parts that are most commonly left out on the uh, average YouTube channel. That, uh, you know, I mean, they're probably right. It's to some degree. Oh, it was this guy the whole time. Mr. Farrell. I think that's who else here. There's a screamer right there. Oh, I missed her. What is she like slowing down for? You see that? She's kind of slowing down. What is he doing? That's creepy. You stop that. But yeah, like I said, it's probably warranted. It's probably needed uh, to cut some of this stuff out. Uh, most channels try to cut those videos down 25 minutes, the magical number. Uh, the attention span of the average viewer and how long they're going to hang around. But I've always kind of enjoyed having that extra little bit for you to check out. And uh, I don't thank you all enough for those of you who do hang out. And I had a, a comment one day, well, Grand Spartan, I'll hang out while you uh, while you knife those bodies. I'll hang out through anything. So, uh, you know, to those of you, just a special thanks because you're the only ones watching right now. <laughs> you're the only ones left. So I'm speaking directly to you. And uh, thanking you for your support here on the channel. Uh, you're prob probably some of the same uh, few that, that come into the streams every time I stream. And I, I can't thank you enough. You're the reason this channel exists and why it continues to exist. Uh, and uh, be successful. Well, there's an AK-47 stock. Uh, I'm going to keep that because I think that's something that I'll need. Look at this. We're already up to 758 bones. Even after uh, all of that, um, using the axe and not the machete or whatever. You know, that's almost a thousand glue right there. Got a little text message right there kind of threw me off for a moment I get to throw that out well we're almost done we're on the last little uh, bit now you hear me say that a lot so I don't think today is Wednesday I don't think there'll be a stream today I will probably uh, take a little break might run one Thursday, but definitely try to get one in this weekend. A uh, couple this weekend, if possible. I encourage you, you know, if you don't make it out, uh, if you've never made it out to a stream, I encourage you to stop by so I can thank you for your support. Live and not just through a recording like this. Love to have you in there. And uh, hang out just for a few minutes. Don't have to hang out for long. Just stop by, say, hey, you know, first time making it to a stream. We get uh, a couple of those about every stream. Uh, first time I've ever made a live stream. I've been watching your videos for a while. Uh, and I always enjoy that. I enjoy having you in there uh, for the first time. And, you know, yeah, never made, made it to a live stream before. That's, uh, that's pretty cool. It's a lot different. It's a lot different to watch me uh, on live stream do my thing than it is to watch here. This is just kind of me sitting back, chilling, uh, doing something I enjoy doing, playing this game. Uh, but in the live stream, it gets a lot more lively and uh, a little more, you know, not a little more, a lot more interactive with the uh, audience. Uh, 
it's just a different kind of feel to it. No more bullets. How many bullets are we up to here? 241 and 80 shotgun shells. Oh, that's not bad. 241 9 millimeter. How many? 76, 236. Wow. That's uh, that's probably two zombie kills right there for Grand Spartan, the way I shoot that AK, huh? <laughs> 136 rounds. That might get a couple of them. Bo -bo 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 Spray and pray. Give new meaning to that uh, phrase. A little more brass. I'm surprised all the brass we're picking up in this horde too. This we didn't get as much uh, oil in this horde, but we seem to be getting more brass. Uh, than we had before. There's another one. I just said brass and, and it shall appear. Brand Spartan says brass and it shall appear. More lead too. A lot of lead trophies. Uh, we're only up to 251 lead, so it's not like a super large amount. It's not even what we would get from a node out there. Oh, I just destroyed that body and had lead on it. More lead right there. Oh, we got another level in scavenging right there. I didn't even pay attention. I heard the noise, but I didn't look down to read it. It's funny because I look back at my videos sometime and I notice things that I would never have noticed while playing. Uh, there could be something. Oh, tuna! The chicken of the sea. Yeah. Um, I'll uh, I'll be looking at the um, at something here, and there's something right there. And I don't notice it because I'm so focused on what I look at up there. Uh, I've noticed that a couple times watching back through my videos. Well, that was a complete cleanup right there, ladies. It's nice and clean up. Uh... See, the body stays there on uh, concrete. We just got to concrete that area out there. But I'm going to be building out there. You know what I mean? Oh, there's a Nurse Nancy. I'm going to be building out there... Um... Very soon. I don't know what point. Uh, but we're going to build a new hallway that comes off Get that stuff sorted. What do we end up with? Uh, 990 bones. Not bad. That comes off right there. You know, right there. And we'll probably come out to about where I'm standing right here. And uh, somewhere in this area, you know, my idea is a generator room right about uh, right about there. Make ourselves a little generator room. You know what I mean? Uh, that's the goal. That'll kind of that'll kind of mark our new uh, area for the generator room right there. And uh, keep it separate from everything else, but have all of the generators tied in right there together. Now, uh, I might have to have multiple generator rooms. I don't know. I don't know that yet until we get to building on it. Uh, I need to concrete all of that area. Uh, the goal is to just get you up to speed. If you're still watching and you really care about all of this, uh, and it may, may mean something to you, mean something to me, uh, would be to, to build this out right here with concrete all the way down to right about there with concrete. And then go all the way back down and around. So that's the goal. And that's why I'm trying to do all of that that I can off recording. Because it is so much. Uh, it is so much grindy kind of stuff. Uh, shaving off the top layer of dirt just to put down a new layer. You know, just to change the block out. Basically, I'm just picking this up and putting a new block down in the place of it. And that's really kind of a, a boring thing. Uh, I can kick back and I can listen to a podcast. Um... Whatever, you know, and it's, it's not that bad. Uh, but having to talk through it, we would be uh, eating up precious days on our Let's Play um, that most of you probably wouldn't watch or care to watch anyway. Uh, so I'll just continue kind of doing what I'm doing there with the, uh, with the concrete. Just a little bit at a time. Uh, I don't know if I'll do any between this episode and next or not, but another screamer. Pretty cool, she is going to the right place. 
Oh, that pillar is in the way. I think it... Got her. But uh, that's, that's the plan. You know, I'll finish all of this on out with uh, concrete. Need to get our bulletproof glass put up in that corner. Get it painted. And uh, finish all the concrete out to this area. Kind of want to hold off on this part until I figure out exactly what and how I'm going to do uh, what I'm going to do over here. Because uh, I don't want to be concreting areas that I'm going to have to auger up uh, to put something else. We haven't had our... Uh... Well, that's a tally right there on the loot. Uh, not too bad. Uh, you know, it wasn't anything super great that stands out because we'll be scrapping those SMGs. And, um, but we'll get you a little bird's eye view here. Of uh, what things, uh, how they're shaping up. How that looks over there, I like it. I think it looks a lot better than it did before. It even has some kind of little unique thing going on right there with the, uh, the design. Now, originally, I didn't like it when I first looked at it, uh, the first little row I ran, but now that I have that in, that, gives, that sets it apart. That gives it kind of a unique look. Um, so that's what she's all looking like, folks. Well, I appreciate your support, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for hanging out today. And uh, you have yourselves a good one. I will see you all tomorrow.